New Teen Wolf features gay wolfy relationship as Jeff Davis supports LGBTQ+. Something brought them back. The breach on the floor is pretty unstable. I have someone who has a special talent for these kinds of things. We we'll call him the Alpha. Right, like a dog. No, like a wolf. If you can heal, you could play tomorrow night. You're my son, but you've got to be willing to learn. Cancel my two o'clock and the hold on my calls. Are you going to be in a meeting? Yeah, kind of. She's here. I see you, Allison, too. I've got a feeling the answers are in Beacon Hills. I haven't been back in a long time. How do we know she's really Allison? Who are you? It's me. It's Scott. Scott who? Whoever or whatever is out there right now, it's not Allison. We need everyone. What's going on, and I think it's all connected. The Nikitsune has come to play a new game. You have to find her and stop her and help her remember who she was. Time to hunt. I want you to watch your friends die. It's like he's knocking pieces off the board. So how can we put me back on it? The game you love is mine. I'm still standing. I'm still the alpha. Tell me, what sound does a wolf make when it's going to die? That howling you hear, ow! Werewolves from your television set, or it could also be fans of Teen Wolf howling for the hot guys of Beacon Hills. Either way, it's a sign that the hit supernatural drama is back. However, this time it's coming to you as a movie. Directed by Jeff Davis, the series featured multiple queer characters, storylines, and actors. For decades of film and television, gay characters were relegated to the best friend role. Whether Rupert Everett in My Best Friend's Wedding, or the satirical version of him in Isn't It Romantic? Davis felt it was time to move beyond the gay best friend. Teen Wolf will actively feature both gay and straight relationships. Teen Wolf, the movie star Tyler Posey, has also praised the original series, LGBTQ plus representation. In the movie, Tyler Posey's character returns to his hometown of Beacon Hills as a new moon brings fresh evil. With Posey, Colton Haynes returns as Jackson Whitmore, along with Holland Rodden, Shelley Henning, Crystal Reed, and Dylan Sprayberry. Charlie Carver is absent, or as Arden Oho and Dylan O'Brien. Needless to say, longtime Teen Wolf fans can't wait to see fan favorite characters reuniting for this new movie. We stand. So this has come a long way from Michael J. Fox being Teen Wolf, folks. A long way from Michael J. Fox being Teen Wolf. And I would watch some of these people have sex. They are really good looking people. That doctor woman, that guy with the beard, that guy with the nose. Wait, don't take our and, and wow. don't take our boys away from us. We're focusing on No, I'm watching. That series was yeah, garbage. Yeah, yeah. This movie looks like fun and it looks like something I would totally be into. I'm all about it. And the fact that it's gonna have some LGBTQ plus representation oh. and a possible sex scene, you heard it here first. Yeah. I'm all about it. I am too. I <laughs> mean like, I was oh. like seeing all the fangs right. and the like Rrr, and that felt like me last night. So <laughs> I was like, you know, thinking to myself, I must have a little werewolf inside of me. Maybe. But man, <laughs> Can we like create a watch party? I'm sorry, this what, would did be say, <laughs> what did you say, Faye? What did you say? I love it. A watch party. I feel like my party. life is being threatened right now. Will yeah, you protect I me? Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I got you, Todd. I got right. you. I'm not They're participating in a watch party because I need a little privacy. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it's already out. It looked like it launched on January 26th. Yeah. So you're yeah. going to go home and watch tonight? Yeah. 
Is it in sure. the theaters? We're going. No, no, no. No, 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 it's on Paramount. Oh. Paramount Plus. Okay, now I know what I'm doing tonight. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, Al will have the pause button ready. The, you know, the one thing that I think is interesting uh, for gay men, you know, I, um, uh, of for course. gay men. Uh, <laughs> this is the age old, age old, uh, frankly. Um, you are either team vampire or you're team werewolf, uh, historically. <laughs> um, uh, the monster set of the two of uh, the two clans. This story has been done so many times. You rule for the bad guy, don't you? And so what I, are you, Al? Uh, <laughs> I, team vampire. I have always been team vampire. First I'm not going to get real okay. nerdy right now and bring in the lichen conversation, but I'm just going to say this, okay? <laughs> we can get, you know, we, we know how to mix those two worlds together. Yeah. There's no pure, pure race yeah. anymore. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, that's, that's exciting okay. to know. Uh, the one thing that I think uh, many, many uh, gay men joke that they are always team vampire because you live forever. It's an age thing. Yeah. Yeah. And sexy, and exactly. and and the werewolves are are more masculine, and they're hairy. Come on, they're hairy. The alphas, more piggy, and like, and like Ramrod. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think we've told everything we wanted to say, about <laughs> or I'm going to have to get off the show. Yeah. <laughs> LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.